Hey guys, General Tabby here, and today we're going to be addressing the not issue, uh, the the statement of Black Desert not being all friendly. Now, I've heard this recently come up, and I I am uh, I'm I have no idea where people are getting this from. Um, obviously, this isn't a, a a majority. This isn't a large number of people, but there has been a lot of misinformation spreading recently about video so i figured we would make some videos addressing um some issues people think they might face when starting video so first of all let's hop in the, 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 i don't intend this to be a long video or anything um it, it, nothing nothing fancy this is just a, a conversation this is just me showing you why it's all friendly and why when people saying it's not or comparing it to other games and stuff like that, uh, you, you shouldn't just listen. Um, I, I, I kind of want to show you uh, some examples of why it is an old friendly game. And I will address some things which make it where um, some people might think of it as being less old friendly. So to start with, uh, th this is my alt, okay? This is one of my alts. Um, just for perspective, this is how many alts I have in the game. Most of these are level 61. So if we go through them, well, most of these are level 61. Um, some, some are just under, some are 60. But a lot of them um, are level 61. Or at least 60. Okay, apart from this one, which I made just, just so I could steal the name. So... I have a lot of alts in this game and I use quite a lot of them and um, for different things. Some of them I pack at world bosses, some I pack at different grind spots, um, like if I want to grind for potion pieces or like pit pieces, um, I'll use a slightly less geared alt and I'll let them go to a lower AP bracket zone. So, the, the, you know, it saves me having to travel across. Um, it's just, just the way I play the game. Also, I life skill. So I life skill and do combat. So I have some combat I have some for uh, some alts for life skilling so it just makes sense to, to me in terms of gear for this um, alt this gear is very easy to obtain I would say and I, I, I you know some of it might look initially for a brand new player and you'd think wow this is um, you know it's uh, for a brand new player obviously this is quite good gear this is just two Vala gear which you get from your season so every single season that you play uh, you'll be given two Vala gear now some of this obviously people will all know but I am going to give information for people who maybe have never played the game before or are brand new to the game so two Vala gear you get for playing season uh, you upgrade narrow gear to pen uh, which is easy enough. Yes, it's RNG, but it gives you all the resources you need um, just by playing through the story. Um, if you're a brand new player, you can skip the story if you've done it before and you get it a lot quicker just by uh, leveling. Now, you get this gear is a end of season reward, but I happen to have pen to uh, Kaposha Necklaces times... Uh, I've got two of them. Uh, now I can't actually remember how I got one of them. I, I assume it was from a login reward or an event or something. But I, I have two of these. Um, it, yeah, it, it says I created it. I, I don't remember creating a pen Kaposha Necklace. Um, but anyway, I have two of these. So um, I know one of them I got from my end of season reward. Now... Kaposha accessories. Now I'm going from the time of recording, so 2023. This is like how the game currently is. If you level up your character, you'll hit certain goals. So you will get just by leveling to 61, you'll get some Kaposha accessories. But when when you get to level 63, 64, and stuff like that, you will get tri Kaposha accessories. So you'll get accessories at a good level, especially for a new player just by playing your season and just by leveling a character so that's your accessories this is a story accessory and it's actually very good so get this just by playing the eternal winter which is the uh, free expansion it's a free storyline 
here again, Kaposha. Anything which is Kaposha, um, you, you can obtain by leveling. Now, anything which is um, not Kaposha, um, don't worry about it because you can get accessories from Season as well. You can get two Valor accessories. Leveling to Pen to Valor is equivalent to this, a Tet boss gear. Now, this is important because I can convert all of these very easily just by talking to an NPC called Jatina. Now, Jatina um, on this map is right next to the... I don't know why she's not showing, but... Anyway, Jatina is it um, in every major city, and she's normally near Fuga. So, just by talking to her, I can exchange Pentu Valor gear to, to Tet Boss gear. Now, in the game... And I know this sounds like a lot of fuss and you're thinking, how is this relevant to alts if this is just getting gear? My point is, I've been able to fully gear a alt in this game who can grind other spots uh, which I need and is able to take part in world bosses and stuff like that. My actual main is geared like this. So this is my main. Uh, I've just got my flame, so this I'm going to make into Labresca. But this is my main and of course you're thinking right if that's your main it took a long time to gear like that how is it helping your alts there's a tagging system in this game which allows you to copy all of the gear to one other character so you can have them both with the same gear at the same time now this is very useful because let's say you want to try a new character and you're not sure you want to actually use a coupon to exchange over to them so it's permanently now on the other character. You want to try them out first. Tag them. You don't have to use coupons or anything. You use an in-game currency to do this. So you just grind earn silver, you buy some Marnie's fuel, and that's all you need. And have lowered the price required for this as well. So the game is now making it easier to tag characters. Yes, you can only tag one. This is true, but I, I still think it's more than fair, especially if you are comparing to some of Remy's. But in terms of alt gear, every season you can acquire this. So this is just an example of what you can acquire by doing a season. Ignore the accessories for now, because again, this is by doing the storyline. So every time you do the storyline, like you can get this. Um, Kaposha accessories, it's just by leveling to a certain number, you'll get them once, but you can still acquire pen um, to, to Valor accessories each season. But this gear, your actual weapons, these can again be quite every single season. If you get to Pen 2 Valor, you just exchange these. Uh, this one still has been left at Pen 2 Valor. And you can exchange this for, for boss gear. So the stats here, weapon wise, and my armor, all obtainable every season. Accessories, and again, one of the reasons why I'm saying don't worry too much about your accessories, and armor to be fair you can just freely put all of your accessories all of your armor into storage so all i do is i just have one storage dedicated to alt gear where i just dump in anything that an alt can pick up so i would just remove the gear and if i just for the day went oh do you know what i've leveled this character i've got no gear um I would like to try them. I can either tag them or I can d do the season with this new character. Um, each season you can use Fugaz timepiece which allows you to copy all the experience to a new character. So you can get one character to level 61 in the season. Use Fugaz timepiece. This then copies all of the experience over to another character. So you have two level 61s per season. Now I, I know you're thinking well if you can only get one piece of gear per season, what's the point of having two level 61s? Well, like I said, you can exchange the armor and the accessories freely. It's only the weapons that are actually like, you, you can still put them on your, your character in the inventory, but they won't be able to equip them because they're not for that class. Unless it's the, unless it says on it, it's the same weapon type. Like on this one, Berserker and Dark Knight can use. But then they added Nashalin gear. 
Now, I might not even be pronouncing that correctly, but just as an example, if I go to another one of my alts, they just have some boss gear, which, so this is just um, gear I made, but again, to Val, you'll notice, um, and a Tet Dandy, which I exchanged. Let's go to another alt. They're using Narshaling gear. Now, Narshaling gear, you obtain by getting Naru gear to pen, and you exchange this with Fuga, and you get Narshaling gear. So again, it's an in-game thing, and it's free. Now, if you really want to do what I do, and I have many different alts, to make it even better, the game has now added it last season, so you obtain an extra set of Nashling gear, because obviously you can get two level 61s per season, or whatever level you get them to. So they've added an extra set of Nashling gear, so I got two full sets of alt gear. But it doesn't have to be alt gear, especially if you're a new player, it's actually good to start with that kind of gear. So, all in all, this and just an alt and this gear was easy to obtain but just by leveling and playing the season which again the season is very good especially for a new player but if you're a player like me and you just enjoy playing with alts doing the season is still it's still it's still fun it's still worth doing because now i can play as whatever character i want and most of them are geared to a point where i can at least grind all life skill because the life skill in gear is the same your accessories you just put over and the costume um, isn't, isn't bound to a character class. So even my life skilling characters, uh, like this one is my hunter, so they keep the, the hunting clothes, but they're not bound to that character. If I wanted another one to start hunting, um, I would do that. But like this, the my life skilling alchemy stone and my manos gear, um, all this I can just freely take off this character and put it on another character. It's not bound. So it's very easy to start life skilling even on a different character. Now, the only issue I I see people um, kind of state, which I can kind of understand to a degree, is is the life skilling because, like for example, this character of mine. Um, doesn't life skill, I've got very little um, life skilling done compared to some of my other characters that actually do it. Um, I can't just transfer experience freely, which makes sense. That's the one thing I don't fully understand about the complaint. Um, if you've chose to upgrade your life skilling on one character, the experience is going to stay on that character. That That's kind of how th most games work. So, in terms of experience, yeah, experience, um, you can't just freely transfer your experience. That you do have to pay for. But even then, the game has given out a number of different scrolls that allow you to copy experience or, or transfer experience. Um, each season is different. It's uh, that you just level up and use Fugas timepiece. Each, each season you can do that. I've not had to pay for one of these coupons before that allow me to exchange my experience. Um, so I, I've been able to transfer experience from a few of my alts to a few different ones over time um, for, for free just because of like events and stuff that have come up. But it's not really an issue because normally you would pick a character and you would start leveling that character for what their purpose is if it's a life skill. And in general, as you can see, I have again quite a lot of level 60 to 60 ones and that so the game is not super difficult especially to get to awakening to get to level 56 you can you can do um, at a very reasonable speed in, in this game so in terms of gear it is very easy to obtain decent enough gear on an alt to be able to use them I think it is normally more than enough just to use the tagging system. So my main shares gear with my the the, the Mega, which is the latest character in the game. So I want to give her um, a proper shot and try her with some like really good gear. So that's why I've done it, and I'm really enjoying playing as Megu and actually using really good gear. So I know now I might keep this 
and just be able to swap between the two depending on where I'm grinding. So if I'm grinding Star's End, I will use my Megu. If I'm grinding Orcs, I will use my Lan. These are just my preferences. Um, so yeah, it, it's a useful system. I think it's more than enough usually. Um, most people will have one main and they will happily tag another character. Uh, but in terms of people complaining of the game not being alt friendly, apart from life skilling, which you would have to just from the very beginning start life skilling with uh, with an alt to get their experience up and their mastery, um, which again I think is reasonable. You can buy with money these exchange coupons, um, and I, again sometimes you get scrolls for free for transferring experience and stuff like that. But I don't see this as an angle to kind of attack the game and say, oh, it's it's not friendly. Uh, I think this game is way more alt friendly than games like Lost Ark, which you are required to have alts in Lost Ark if you want to progress. Because you have to start leveling that character and get their their own unique gear. So even the, like this character, this gear is very low level like as in i've not bothered with this it, it must have taken me five minutes to just throw this on and again it's just leftover season two vala um weapons that i've left on the character and they're they're still at a point where i could throw them into a grind spot and at least level them whilst earning some money like if i threw them at polys i would still earn money whilst I'm there and I get a lot of skill points um, so I can still use characters very easily in this game yes when it comes to the weapons you can't freely exchange these unless it's again character of the same class or a character that just shares that weapon type um, and the, the only other thing which I can think of that's not shared but is kind of relevant is your outfits if you buy an outfit on a character it is bound to that character once it is equipped so if you have two dark knights i can't freely transfer my outfits to another dark knight and that brings us to probably the the, the, the downside i actually agree with and that is i wish you could freely transfer outfits between characters of the same class just in case you wanted to play as succession dark knight and have an awakening dark knight separately with different like um, skill add-ons and stuff. That is the one thing Lost Ark does um, better, in my opinion, and that's its outfits. Bringing us on to, I think I'll start wrapping up now, uh, and one of the last things I'll address. People talk about outfits in this game because outfits do give you a very small bonus to your skill points um, look um, and your combat skill. So some people will say, oh, well, I've got alts, but I, I don't have the money to fund buying them outfits and stuff like that. Um, and because if you have a full set, it requires you to have underwear as well. Now, just to give you a little insight, yeah, I, I do spend money in this game. I do buy outfits, but there are a few outfits in here which I did not pay for. So if you was looking at in terms of a perspective, I would say of if you were a new player and you want to have at least two playable characters, so you have your main gear and you tag it, but you still want your one to have um, outfits and stuff like that, I would say it is doable. If you was a completely, um, once you've bought the game or you got it for free because it's free quite a lot, if you are one of them players, and you don't want to spend any money other than the, the, the like box price, or if you got it for free, you don't want to spend any money. Fair enough, it might be more difficult for you to obtain, but it is doable, because this I got for free in the game, and when events come up, um, let me find it, just so you, you know. Um, no, 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 just making it up. Um, this set here, um, you get for free every summer event. And the like nostalgic boxes, I've had a few of them just given um, 
there's a thankful box they do which is this one and in a, like this month another one will be given out two have already been given out so if if you're playing this game and your goal is to be able to have at least as a brand new player a main character and an alt it is more than than doable you play one season tag the gear um again you wouldn't even need to because you get given the tuvala set and the nashling gear set so you still can so you could have three characters if you wanted um do the season do the story level up your gear and stuff when i say it's super easy to obtain this stuff i mean within the game you don't have to spend any money to obtain this you just play the game grind for materials and you you upgrade these um if you play the season you even get stacks for free to help with your enhancing so like the the stacks you use for enhancing you can get some pretty good ones for free just by leveling up and equipping the gear at a certain point and then it'll give you a stack to help level to the next point it can be annoying um as it is rng upgrading but per season i've been i've quite often been able to get the gear where i need it or where i want it uh, and like i said this is me showing you like just a previous season's gear um so yeah in terms of is black desert alt friendly yes of course it is it is 100 percent alt friendly it is not alt required i don't have to keep all this and i would be way more advanced in this game if i actually just sold all of my alt gear or i just put all of my time resources into my main character and then duplicated the gear of course i would but I love the variety this game offers. Um, I, I basically aimed to have one of each class where they're at a playable level. And that, that's my aim. So this year I should have them all at level 61 and uh, most of them geared. So I, I currently have one, two. This is life, uh, a life skiller, so I, I'm still going to class it as geared because it's preference on how you want to play and if i sold all of the life skilling gear here uh, i would 100 percent be able to buy this character some decent gear like the uh, one billion for tet orphan and you can kafras them or you can even just try and tap to tet but if i sold this for example that's more than enough to buy tet boss gear and armor is transferable for free so it's only the weapons you need to get to that character so it, it if I didn't want a life skill, I'm saying I could easily afford to make this a playable character. So, one, two, three. Not going to count this one. Uh, have basic weapons, but I'm not going to count this one either. But, again, another geared character that can at least grind um, another one. So, we've got five just on the top row. Six here. And... Um, this, this is a life skilling character as well, so I just transfer them over. Um, so you, you get you get the picture. This character has their gear, so I would just transfer to them the ones you saw in storage. Again, already got their weapons as well. Um, and then maybe it was my, my, my tagged. So I've already got enough characters, and that is way more than you would possibly need in this game it is just a preference so it is alt friendly i if, if you're hearing people say it's not um kind of the only argument i again i heard which had any standing was when people complained that the life skilling wasn't shared so like in lost ark you grind uh, with, with a character and that just adds experience to your account so all of your alts share life skilling experience and level it's not a bad idea i'm not saying that that wouldn't be good but i'm saying it's not to be expected in a game necessarily if you start like for me i like all my alts to have a purpose so this is my fishing character this is my cook this is my hunter and it's just the way i work it but I fully know I could have had one character life skilling all of the life skills if I wanted. So it's just when I'm 
if you know like apart from life skilling uh, but if you want to start a new life skill it's super easy you just give it all of the good manos gear you've already obtained and they'll level up a lot quicker the game will give you a lot of experience um scrolls and stuff like that um currently there's an event on where i've been getting loads of these and more than i need and this helps with life like, uh, like uh, life skilling the seasons normally give you an incentive to do your life skilling they'll help you level up a bit quicker with a new character um there's events on quite often where look at this 70 percent on all of the life skilling stuff currently don't get me wrong this isn't a constant thing but it, quite often you'll get experience boosts so yeah i i think i'm gonna end it here um i just <laughs> i just wanted to address the absolute outlandish silly statements that um video is not alt friendly it is not alt required um and that, that's a good thing it, uh, but you know if you choose to do it then yeah in if you're wondering what alts are good for the only things i would say are um, a very good convenience to do with your alts i would place alts at the world bosses so if you let's say you only have three alts anyway then you would position one around here in calfion so you can get to karanda and you can get to um uh, gwint and then i'd have one all the way over in medea so you've got um you can get to kutum but you can also get to nuva so you would just pay, place your alts there a lot of people if you have particular ones you want to do or there's um yeah like maybe a certain drop you're wanting then people normally just leave their alt bang on the spawn spot and when they see the notification pop up for the world boss they'll load into that character it just saves you time and energy and it's yeah it's a bit fun you get to play with a new character you're not just stuck on one so yeah alts are still worth having uh especially for variety that's mainly what i do i like to play as different characters for the the sheer variety i really like playing as dark knight um but i untagged so i could try megu so i i just used my old gear and i can still use them so that's all there is <laughs> for now i've probably this video has gone way longer than i wanted um but yeah i hope it's given a lot of information so as always guys uh, take care and i will see you in the next video or stream bye for now